get a straightaway. Let's do it. I was hoping for some blower wine. Now, blower wine is could, could be said as, you know, argued that it's inefficiency, but I don't care. I want to hear it. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're doing it again. Another world first video. I don't think anybody's done this, at least not on YouTube. We have behind us our 2019 Mustang GT that now has, you guys know, a built 5.2 liter from RPG. And on top of it, we have an Odin supercharger. In the last video, if you guys have not seen the first pulls, go check out the card above, man. You're missing out if you haven't seen it. But what I can tell you is a blower, unfortunately for the pulley that we have on it, does not make a lot of noise. Uh, that's kind of half for the fun of owning a supercharger. So today we're actually going to fix that. I'm gonna show you how to do it and then we're gonna take it on the streets. I've had this box for a little while. Sean Foster reached out, said, hey man, do you want a sound tube mod? I watched one of your videos where you compared a Whipple to an Odin. And I was like, yeah, that's awesome, man. I'm so glad that he did because like I said, it makes no noise. So I'm sure with a smaller pulley, which we do have, you know, that'll fix some of it, but we all love that blower wine and we wanna hear more of it. That way, every time we get on the gas pedal, man, it's gonna be a symphony of music. You know, we've got the course exhaust, but uh, it drowns out like everything in the car. So we wanna be able to hear that blower wine, yes. We're gonna need like basic handheld tools here, some cutters, you know, just random stuff, a drill, because we are going to be tapping into the firewall. Get out, get out. So we got some instructions and it tells us where to go to look them up. It says, ooh, check that out, I crossed out the wheel and put an Odin. So this has not been done yet. So an Odin with a sound tube mod. Sean and I talked and uh, what he did was he sent me a hose that's a little bit probably longer than I need. That way we can cut if we need to to uh, make it fit. Go over everything, make this, you know, a nice how-to video. That way you guys can follow step by step and, uh, you know, don't mess this up whenever you try to do it yourself. Um, yeah, we got some grommets. The skinny one is for the intake. The fatter one right here is actually for the fire wall. Nice that it actually comes with, you know, stuff like this. So you don't really need to have a lot of parts on hand to, you know, do something like this because it's provided zip ties razor blade we can do a little bit of cutting this looks like shrink wrap is what that looks like grease that's going to come in handy we're going to need that and this is our diaphragm all right be careful pulling the tape off you don't want to mess up this little bit of plastic inside of here so that's what's going to transfer the uh, sound through is this guy right here so if you put a hole in this or you mess it up you are going to bring in unmetered air into your intake system it's going to throw off your fuel trims air fuel all of that so make sure you don't mess this up there's contact information there or you can go to like Lethal Performance, they sell these. This is again the stage four, so it's gonna transfer the most amount of noise, which is exactly what we want. I need hood struts. 5.2 built from RPG with the VMP Odin. So we're gonna be drilling into our intake here. So I'm gonna take my time and show you how to do it. And then we have to get through all of that crap down there to feed that down into the firewall. And then at the end of all of this, we're definitely gonna be doing a road test. So we wanna be able to hear it and uh, translate this onto camera so you know what you're buying into. Uh, you know how we do on this channel, man. Everything's gonna be detailed so that you can follow along step by step, all you guys out there watching. So let's get to work. This, <laughs> this thing has got to go, man. All right, so we're gonna pull the intake off. Then we're gonna go inside and start drilling. So the fuel system and everything, this is gonna be uh, not so much fun. So appreciate everybody out there watching again. People like you, it's the reason why we keep making videos like this, but this is one heck of a build. We're gonna be drilling through the other side, so you don't wanna hurt this at all. And I'm gonna pull this off and then make sure when it goes back together that we thoroughly clean everything. 12 seconds later. Uh. Pull down this carpet and also this insulation behind. Might be hard to tell, but we come in here and you see that little kickoff leg from this guy right here, part of your steering shaft. So there is a raised part. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. There's a raised section. You can kind of see it on camera right there. So up and down, 
move the light away and then you can really see it right there anyway so come a quarter inch past that you know double triple check your work and then you'll be fine if we're going through the firewall what lives down there you guys can kind of get the idea there's nothing down there where it's going to punch through in the firewall so long as you stick to your mark so it's just all firewall it's kind of an empty cavity in that little section See if we did this right. <laughs> I guess it's a little too late if we didn't. It's not really burnt up or anything, man. That that freaking tool that they provide is that's awesome that they you know they provide something like this. Thicker grommet here, and then we're just gonna feed it just like that. Okay, if you're smart like me, at least I try to be anyway. No! <laughs> what you'll do is kind of you know start to put your stuff back together. And that way you can figure out how you want to uh, you know place everything. So with if you got a fuel system and all this other stuff in the way, it's going to limit you. What I want to do is kind of keep it hidden for the most part underneath, and then I'll zip tie it, I guess, or you know figure out how to get it away from the header down there. But I'm going to actually come underneath right here. X marks the spot. Remember, take your math out. That way, nothing gets damaged the clean aspect is what we're going for here so i think that we're going to be able to accomplish that so we got a perfectly circular hole here inside of our very expensive vmp intake and is this grommet which is a smaller one is going to fit right in there just like in the firewall that we're going to also use the grease that's provided on these areas here which i'll show you and also going through the firewall with a little bit of effort this is pretty much how it came out pretty easy it just takes a little bit of muscle to get it done remember you don't want unmetered air so this is right in line with the the math air sensor so if you've done it properly it'll look like this get a friend to feed it through on the other side to keep pressure and then you're going to use that grease to go on the plastic nipple and then also on the inside of this and then you get a zip tie get it real tight remember you don't want unmetered air now as far as the odin in my configuration this is what i've done so i took uh these two uh, coil packs off just to give myself a little bit of room. Fuel system hose it was in the way so I had to go under it. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get to but if you look in reference to the header it's pretty close. Pull up a little bit so that way it's away from the header and then it'll feed up into the intake. We'll be good to go. Day number two, we got rained out from uh, a little bit earlier. So what it's all come down to now is the test. In full disclosure, we are on the base pulley, the 88 millimeter pulley, which is making basically no boost. Anyway, I digress. We're gonna get up here, we're gonna do some pulls. And I can tell you right off the bat, just driving, there is nothing weird, no noise going on that I don't like. Uh, again, we have course in the back, so it's very, very loud all the time. So hopefully we can solve that with this new modification. I don't really hear any weird intake sounds or anything like that with the exhaust. Uh, no, 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 I stand corrected. I do. I, there's a little bit. <laughs> Not in a bad way. I like it, actually. Now, if we pull it down, we're definitely going to be able to hear it more, too, because we're going to be spinning it harder. Yeah, so there's a little bit there. Okay. You guys can probably only hear the course exhaust. It's coming from down, you know, by my left foot. So speaking of which, remember it pokes through the firewall there. I do want to say that it, it's coming through in a way that you're not going to kick it. You're not going to accidentally smash it. So it's kind of hidden. It's nice. Let's put it in like track mode and uh, we'll get this straight away and actually floor this car and see what it sounds like. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. <laughs> you guys probably only hear the exhaust. But I'm telling you, sitting here, I hear it. I hear it. It's awesome. I, I didn't have this before we are doing like that first pulls video. That was, I feel like a kid in a candy store. That is, that is too cool. Uh, it sounds just like kind of like an 0304, you know, ported Cobra. Remember those back in the day? 
You poured them out and they just scream like like gutted pigs. Like I was saying, I think when we pull it down, which we do have, we're definitely gonna be spinning this blower a little bit harder, so we're gonna hear more. But let's do it again. Let's see if uh, you guys can pick up on camera what I'm able to hear in person. That was so sick. I like this. This, yes. All right, here we go. 30 mile an hour. I'm on the Nitto 555R2s, that new tire that Nitto came out with, and I've got them aired down just a little bit, and they are dead hooking at like 30 mile an hour. I, it got a little squirrely, just for just for a second, but boy. Let's do this again. I really hope that you guys can hear it. It's, it's definitely, definitely making noise. Thank you.